In a world where your inbox is a battleground, only the strongest subject lines survive. Hey guys, I'm Jake. Today let's talk about how you should think of subject lines for your cold emails. Have you wondered what separates an irresistible subject line from one that gets ignored? Well, today we'll cover what resonates best in 2024, so you can conquer that digital battlefield. Let's go. If you look at emails in your inbox, there are three things that you can spot right away. The first thing is your name, and it's good to use your real name. The more authentic you seem, the better for your engagement rate. You can also try shortening it to save some space. For example, instead of Maximilian, you can use Max. The second thing is subject line. And the third is your first line of the email. This is where you can truly make a difference and stand out to your recipients. The subject line is your first and sometimes the only chance to grab somebody's attention. It is inseparably linked to the open rate of your cold email. If the open rates drop, it's time for a little investigation. One of the reasons might be your subject line. Let's see how you can write it to grab your prospect's attention. Okay, important break here. No subject line or email will be read by your prospect if you go to the spam folder. Why do your emails end up in the spam folder at all? Well, there are many reasons, but lucky for you, we gather it all in one place. You can give it a watch because it's right here. Okay, back to the topic. Let's break down the anatomy of an effective cold email subject line. I have one core rule for you. Do not try to sell in your subject line. The goal is not to sell, it's to get your email opened, to grab the attention of your recipient. And here is how you can make that happen. Keep it short and sweet. Some say use one word, others two, but usually under four words is the best. Test different variants to see what works for you. You want your subject line to be a conversation starter, not an upfront request. Avoid spam words and cliches. It screams sales email, and it's probably like 98% of other email prospects see in their inbox. A better way to increase your sales, what does it even mean? Don't go for those salesy promises that don't really tell you anything. Instead, make it clear to the point and specify a time so you won't trigger the spam filters. Write your subject line in lowercase. Don't overuse caps lock or exclamation points. And also, as weird as it sounds, try to make it boring. Why? Well, the lowercase and simple structure looks more like an internal email that came from inside the company. And it will more likely get opened because it will hook their attention. Also, you don't need to use the prospect name in your subject line every time. Yes, personalization is good, but it can sound pretty generic as well. Make a subject line about the prospect, so they feel that it is written for them. How to do this? Relate your subject line to current events. If your cold call goes straight to the voicemail, follow up with a cold email using the subject line just called. Seeing a just called email and a missed call notification makes you want to check it out, right? If you previously had a conversation with someone from the company, try to use it in your subject line. So. If you write to John, but you spoke with Kate some time ago, try via Kate or Kate sent me. Use the first name. You don't need the last name. The more casual, the better. By doing that, you show that you are not a stranger, gaining the trust of your recipient, which very often encourages them to open the message. If you look through your prospect's LinkedIn profile and you find something they like or a hobby that they have, you can drop that in the subject line. That's going to be very relevant. If someone mentions that they are on a cold plunge challenge or they like to run, use that. Obviously, you have to tie that in once they open the email, but that's a way to show some good personalization. And the last one, a bit controversial, I would say. Remember this iconic subject line? Quick question. Sorry to break it to you, but most prospects already know it screams sales email. It might be good to replace the worn out quick question with something more intriguing, something more related to your actual message. Remember that whatever you tease in the subject line, it has to be explained in an email body. That's the golden rule. Now, you have a few good sounding subject lines for your market, but you can't really decide on one. Instead of making blind guesses, test which one will get more opens. The fastest and simplest way to find out is to do an A-B test. Create at least two versions or more of your cold email and send them to a group of prospects. You can do that easily in Woodpecker, where you can test up to five versions of an email in one step of your campaign. And guys, two key elements to your tests, just in case. First, test only one element of your email. In this case, it can be your subject line. Second, use one success metric. 
In this case, it can be your email open rate. A-B testing and open rate monitoring will refine your approach. So share your most successful email subject lines in the comments below. And if you want to read more of ours, then you can find them linked in the description. I think we crushed the subject line topic, but sending emails right now is not as easy as it was two years ago. And sending big amounts without landing in spam and harming your deliverability is even more challenging and no flawless subject line can prevent it. But no worries, here is the tutorial for sending thousand cold emails a day in a safe way, making sure your messages will get delivered. Watch it right now and check our proven strategy. Take care guys, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Keep your open lights simple and genuine and see you in the next one.